Hi, the purpose of this video will be to provide a quick rundown of the operator's joystick for your new FSI CFB semi-trailer. So when you first get in, uh, a brief rundown of each of the functions is the thumb joystick slider, which is friction hold, will be to control the set speed of the conveyor's operation. The lower rocker switch will be to open and close the spout that is on the driver's side of the conveyor. The left vertical rocker will be to open and close the door in the conveyor chamber. And the right hand rocker button will be to open and close the rear tailgate of the unit. This momentary switch is used to toggle between a forward discharge that is out the conveyor chamber and a rear discharge which is out the tailgate. To switch to the rear discharge mode, the momentary button must be held down for two seconds and released, at which point the indicator LED will illuminate letting you know you are in rear discharge mode. To exit this mode, simply double tap the momentary switch, at which point the indicator light will turn off, letting you know you are in standard discharge. The actual joystick itself is a friction hold and controls the speed of the floor chains. The way this unit is currently set up, in order to operate all functions, the trigger must be pressed and held. This is standard use for bunk feeding operations. However, in freestyle configurations, the unit can be reconfigured to make the trigger non-essential, in which case simply pushing the joystick forward past the zero point will engage whatever settings you have here. So if you have your conveyor at zero and you push the stick forward to 10%, the conveyor will not run. However, the beaters will engage and the floor will run at 10%. If you have your conveyor at 50%, you push your stick to 10, the beaters will engage, the floor will run at 10%, and the conveyor will run at 50%. So without using the trigger in the freestall feeding mode, you have complete control of your chain speeds, but to get back to zero, you must pull to the stop. In this mode, you can actually use um, independent control of your conveyor speed by pulling the trigger when the joystick is at zero position to allow a total clean out of the unit without requiring the floor chains or beaters to run.